بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الأخوة والأخوات الطلاب والطالبات أرحب بكم مجددا وأقدم لكم إن شاء الله درس في منهج ميجا جول 2 وتحديدا الوحدة الخامسة درس رايتنج بيج 67 أو 76 سوري Okay, guys, uh, for now, we have the writing part on page um, 76. Uh, l let us first uh, talk a little about, talk a little bit about writing. When we, when we talk about writing process, we have to know that writing is one of the skills and language, especially English, which needs to time management, which needs to uh, going step by step to come out with a good piece of writing. And here, inshallah, we're going to have the, 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 the writing uh, letter, okay? How to write a letter. We'll, inshallah, go over some of the skills and the steps that we're going to follow to come up with a good piece of writing. One of the most important things is to uh, brainstorm. Brainstorm means is to group ideas. For example, uh, when you want to write about, for example, finance, you want to, you have to, for example, have information about this. Okay, you can do this by yourself. You can do it in groups. Let us now see what is here. Okay, uh, do you like sharing things with your friends? Why and why not? So this is the the topic that we're gonna uh, discuss. So do you like sharing things with your friends? Why why not? Share means is to to exchange is to exchange this for example with your brother with your uh, friend for example you have a ca calculator okay that is used in math and other scientific uh, subject C can you can you share it with your with your colleague or with your friend or uh, you, you you see it's it's not allowed to, to share this so think about this with yourself and it can be in a pattern, for example, your brother or such a thing. So, do you like sharing things with your friends? Why and why not? Read the advice column and answer the questions. Okay, let's now go over these questions, guys. The first question is, why was Sabah sad? Let us listen to this first. Ask Miriam. Friendship is more important. Dear Sabah, I am sorry you feel so sad. Actually, this is the letter. Actually, this is the letter sent by Miriam to his friend, Sabah. About falling out with your best friend. I understand that she wanted to borrow your new bag before you had the chance to use it yourself. So, so Miriam sent this letter to Sabah and telling him something about if someone wants to borrow her bag. A bag means the, 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 the thing that used to, for example, have books and so on. And of course, borrow means is to have something not yours from others. For example, the mobile phone, you can borrow it from your, your brother. The laptop, you can borrow it from your brother and so on. Let us keep listening. But as you say, she was invited to a wedding and she could not buy a new bag. Because she was invited to a wedding, a wedding is the, 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 the incident or the situation where people um, gathering, for example, a marriage or such a thing. So he wants to borrow the bag because he was invited to a wedding and she doesn't have a suitable one. Let's keep listening. I understand that it is difficult, maybe even unfair to let someone else use something that you have just bought or been given. But surely... That's something funny. She said that uh, it's unfair to, to, to let someone use this um, or use something that you bought for yourself, that you use for yourself. Friendship is more important, even if it requires some sacrifices. So here is focusing on that friendship is something that is very important. And sometimes you sacrifice, you, you put yourself, uh, for example, in, 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 in the, 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 the situation your friend or your brother was in. So this is called sacrifice, or in Arabic we can say al-ithar, okay, as Muslims, we can say al-ithar, uh, for example, in اشتريت مثلا هذا الأمر وأنت لا تحتاجه الآن فمن الممكن أنك تعيره إلى صديقك أو زميلك حتى يستفيد منه وهذا نوع من الإيثار 
So I am afraid I will agree with what you think. You should have let her borrow the bag. She would have been happy and grateful to you, and you would still be on good terms with your friend. So if you borrowed your friend or um, your brother or someone else uh, what he needs, you will you will be in good terms to him, and of course you will you will um, you will find yourself feeling with a joy because you helped him. You say you do not like sharing your things with people because they might damage them. You could have asked her to. Some ones don't want to share their um, own things with others because sometimes others will damage these things, and of course this is not good behavior. Be careful with your bag. The point is, however, to put things into perspective. What is more valuable to you, your friend or your new bag? I would call and say I am sorry. I am sure she will understand. And if she has not already been to the wedding, offer her the bag. You will both be happier. I hope it so, all works out. So he ended Miriam. up, he ended up the, 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 um, the, the letter uh, by saying if your friend or your bag is more important of course the friend will be more important because bags are changeable are changeable let's uh, move to the other part yes actually this is the uh, piece of letter this is the piece of letter do the advice again notice the first part of each paragraph why do you think the writer has chosen to address the issue in this manner what is the effect? Is the letter rep reprimanding or friendly? How would you feel if you were sabah? Bye. Friendship is important. Let's reread the, the, the letter. Dear Sabah, I am sorry you feel so sad about falling out with your best friend. I understand that you wanted to borrow your new bag before you had the chance to use it yourself. But as you say, she was invited to a wedding and she could not buy a new bag. I understand that it is difficult, maybe even unfair, to let someone else use something or been given. But surely friendship is more important even if it requires some sacrifices. So I am afraid I will agree with what you think you should have let her borrow the bag. She would have been happy and grateful to you, and you would still be on good terms with your friend. You say you do not like sharing your things with people because they might damage them. You should have asked her to be careful with your bag. The point is, however, to put things into perspective. What is more valuable to you, your friend or your new bag? I would call and say I am sorry. I am sure she will understand, and if she has not already been to the wedding, offer her the bag. You will both be happier. I hope it all works out. Miriam. So this is the uh, letter done or written by Miriam. As you see, if we can go over the, the, the formation of the letter, we, we have to have a title in here at the middle of the paper and then we have to start by greeting by greeting dear okay and then the name of the one you sent the the letter to him and then you have to start by uh, having something introductory something introductory about the introduction that you will send to to the to someone or your friend or colleague and then we have the uh, the main paragraph okay we have this paragraph okay which actually discussing the the introduction in details and then we have another paragraph and then we have the conclusion or the the final part of the letter which is uh, the reason of you or of why you send this the, this letter to your colleague or friend and then you have to sign by your name okay guys if we go over this you have to choose one of the letters in the unit to write an answer to read the letter again and make notes in the organizer include notes with our own advice 
be the advice column writer and writer the answer exchange letters in class so you have to work uh, on this at home this is the letter form what happened okay you have to you have to mention what happened because you, you you want to show the the reader or the readers what happened what happened the second incident what happened the third the fourth okay and of course your advice to each one of them writing corner actually this is very important to you when you write when you write a letter of advice get all the facts and refer to them summarize them in your letter so you have to mention the facts and summarize them in your letter think about different viewpoints sides you have to mention the two sides of opinion do not be judgmental or patronizing you have to not be judgmental you have to not see any show things that as um, advertisement and sorry uh, the, the the negative and positive of such a thing be understanding but do not lie you have to understand each of the information that you provide but do not lie do not say something not true uh, suggest rather than tell people what to do so this is the 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 the, the uh, letter of advice so our job today is about letter of advice how to write a letter of advice as you see we got um, of we got uh, so many information about this through these uh, parts okay guys thank you very much that's all for today